Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CJ and on this channel we talk about everything books, self-help, personal development and anything in line with that. So in today's video we are going to be talking about how to deal or handle information overload. Before I get started, I just want to say that as we all know man that we are in this coronavirus pandemic i hope you guys are staying safe you're washing your hands every now and again and doing everything as you should so without further ado let's get into it <laughs> also like if you're my subscriber and you've ever questioned my love for you that bus needs to stop right here because a oh, sweetie I went through the most to produce those content okay but that's the topic for another day anyway guys we're here with me I have a diagram <gasps> I don't know if you guys can see it but this diagram has four quadrants so before I get into the how-to of handling information overload I thought I should explain to you guys the different types of information that we have and why it essentially leads to us having an overflow I mean and overload and why we basically feel overwhelmed by all the information that is at our disposal okay. what i have here is i have useful i have useless i have negative and i have positive right and then yeah so the way i'm gonna start is on quadrant two and quadrant two is basically um negative useful information so what negative useful information is it is negative feedback for example because i have a youtube channel i always like to deliver content that speaks to me but mostly to my subscribers because you know what i'm saying so if anyone raises um a negative feedback is it is something that is obviously negative but it's useful because it will um help me it will help sort of guide me into the right direction and obviously we don't um handle negative feedback the same it is, it is different strokes for different folks but essentially it is what can help you either grow or break you so it depends on your interpretation of negative feedback and that is what determines how it's gonna affect you okay and then in the third quadrant i have negative and useless information an example of this is world news this is especially for people that are very philanthropic in nature but don't have the means to reach out to everyone and help out everyone world news could be negative and useless to you because um say you live in south africa and we know that like a big percentage of our population lives below the poverty line and being exposed to news that constantly tell you that means that you're gonna feel some type of way if you can't you don't have the means to reach out and actually help people get out of um that poverty so it is um gonna affect you negatively and i say it's useless because it might lead to um you having it might affect your mental health and obviously hit you in the wrong direction if that makes sense and then in the fourth quadrant i have positive but useless information what positive and useless information is is basically what you find on social media it is what is trending what your viral videos on facebook and 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 so it's that information that yes it is positive because some of the um information you consume especially like on platforms like linkedin it is actually like positive but it's useless if you're just going to consume the information or you're just going to spend a lot of time sharing the information with other people without you using it so be wary of that and then in the first quadrant i have useful but positive information so what useful but positive information is is basically your books your uh podcasts um your blogs your textbooks <laughs> that's the information that you want to spend at least 70 percent of your time consuming because then it gives you a platform for growth it hardly affects you negatively because it's what propels you to growth in especially if you're consuming content in in line with what you 
in line with your profession for instance what determines what you spend a lot of your time on is self-discipline so you need to at least spend 70 percent of your time consuming information in quadrant one because at least then you able to like learn and grow so back to how you can actually handle um information overload it's being able to filter out what doesn't matter to you so for example if the whole um news and because you know how on social media people are prone to sharing new um fake news and stuff like that so if you're on twitter for example but you follow people that are in in your industry work um use your filter options just filter out information that you don't want to see pop up on your news feed you know what i mean but most importantly what helps you stay in quadrant one is self-discipline so i currently finished um this book right here and it speaks a lot about self-discipline and i'm gonna record because that's another video on its own honey i am gonna record a video where i spill the tea on how you guys can actually stay disciplined and follow through on all your plans and all the information that you have consumed in quadrant one i really think that you need to learn how to have selective ignorance right um you don't want to be ignorant completely because you don't want to be oblivious of what's happening in and around your space and globally what selective ignorance is it is basically ignorance that is selective you choose what to ignore you choose the type of information that you would like to focus on and in that way you're able to actually stay calm because um for me right i like a lot of things and i am a lot of things and there's a lot of things that i can learn in different uh, spaces of my life so i'm a student there's a lot of things that i can learn about being a student well, obviously there is content that i'm consuming that is in line with my profession and things that i can actually do post my degree so in that space alone there's a lot to learn and i'm also a youtuber so there's so much that i need to learn and know about youtube and there's quite a lot of other things and other fields that i would like to occupy where i need to obviously like get to know but i i think that um, having read the book on self-discipline that alone has taught me how to actually be disciplined and what to do and i think i don't remember who posted this on linkedin but they were basically saying that have the discipline to actually do one thing at a time you can have plenty of things that are lined up but instead of trying to like do this here and then touch this touch that touch this rather do one thing at a time so what works for me is i just write down three top things that i want to do and accomplish in my one day one could be personal development one could be health and then the other one could be profession so i can choose three of the top things that i i, I don't want to go to bed having not touched on we've come to the end of the video thank you guys for tuning in and i hope this was really helpful and you're gonna take what i said with a pinch of salt and do what works for you, you have other ways to handle information overload comment them down below so we can learn from each other and share the information otherwise see you guys in my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe <music>